God, he is Elohim. And in chapter 14, the second name is revealed. What is, it? What is the name? El Elyon, most high. In chapter 17, another name is revealed. El Shaddai. You know, El Shaddai means many-breasted God. <laughs> many-breasted, you know, all-sufficient. That is what it means. <laughs> there is, you, can, you, can, you can't say, eh, they have said. Like, for example, if, if the school where your child goes, they raise the school fees and make it... Uh, 70,000. Now, where are we going to get 70,000? El Shaddai shall provide. What you need to do is put your faith in El Shaddai. El Shaddai will always provide for you. He will never fail you. El Shaddai. He provides all of your needs. You need a vehicle, El Shaddai provides. He is all sufficient. El Shaddai does beyond your imaginations. And in chapter 20, 22, another name comes. He is Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Jireh. He supplies. On the mountain of God, there is what? provision so he will provide everything don't you ever think if god tells you to give whatever you have god has told me so many times to give vehicles and many of you are witnesses now i've given vehicles and the more i have given out vehicles the more i've gotten vehicles because jehovah jireh who told abraham to sacrifice who isaac was not taking anything away from abraham he only wanted to see whether Abraham trusted that God is the source of everything. Now, El Elyon, if you, if you, when you read, when you read verse, um, when you read uh, verse 20, what did Abraham do to this Melchizedek? What did Abraham do? Now, let, let us just read from verse 18 again to get the whole message. Let's go to verse 18. Then Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of Most High, and he blessed him, saying, Blessed be Abraham of Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. Stop there for a while. There is another thought that we run. That this Melchizedek appeared with two, two items. Item number one, bread. Item number two, wine. So what does that mean? This Melchizedek, we can so easily guess who he is. What, who is he? Jesus. Who comes with bread and says this, break this bread and eat. It is my body which is what? Broken for you. And this is the blood of the new covenant and what did Melchizedek do Melchizedek appears to bring what blessings Melchizedek doesn't bring condemnation he brings what blessings he blessed Abraham and what did he say blessed be Abraham of most high God possessor of heaven and earth and blessed be the God most high who has delivered your enemies into your hand. What did Abraham do to Melchizedek? And he gave him tithe of all. Now, those of you who think tithe is of the, of the, of the Mosaic law, where is Moses here? Moses was born how many years after this? Moses was born close to five years, 500 years after this. So how, how do you, you know, you know tithe is not, and, and I want you to know this, why did Abraham give tithe? So that Abraham, you know, you know Jesus said, you cannot serve God with mormon. Mormon is what? Money. If you don't want money to have you, you hear what I say? 
if you don't want, want money to do what? To have you, but for you to have what? Money. Give 10%. When you give 10%, you are saying, God, what I have came from you. And what I will need tomorrow will come from you. Friend, for me, I don't understand why it is so difficult for people to tithe. Because none of us was born with money. And none of us can solve their own problems if God is not on our side. If I'm earning 10,000, what is so difficult for me to give 1,000 shillings? If I'm earning 15,000, what is so difficult for me to give 1,500? If I'm earning 100,000, what is so difficult for me to give the tithe of 10,000? If I'm earning a million, what is so hard for me to give 100,000? When you tithe, you covenant yourself into the blessedness of God. You don't tithe because the church is, or the, the or because the church is, is, is bankrupt. In fact, I have never received tithe from any of you. Tithe goes there. I also put my tithe there in the offering basket and tithe basket the reason why i do that is because i all, i want the heavens to be opened for me i want god to lavish me with his goodness with health with protection because he says i'll rebuke the devourer for you right how many of you want god to, to rebuke the devourer i will tithe Th then go ahead and tithe don't just 10 percent imagine if if someone gave you 10 shillings you only give what one? one shilling what is one shilling? In the first place, did you have the ten? No. It is God who caused someone to give you what? Ten. Did you have employment? No. God opened the door for you to be employed. Why can you give tithe so that he multiplies you? So that he, he makes you, he, he blesses the, the place of, of, of the place that has employed you to gain more income to increase your salary. Tithing is a great blessing. So Abraham gave tithe to Melek Zedek. Spiritual nourishment, click on subscribe button below. Click on the notification bell to become the first to know when we upload another video.